At primary school, uh, we used this book, uh, Everybody Sing. Quite a few of the songs seem to be public domain, uh, like uh, the one I'm looking at, uh, Mr. Banjo, was described as American folk song. I thought I'd have a look today at um, the process of taking the notes in the music and, and converting them, uh, converting those into uh, garage band so that you can say so that the song can then be played. So the first thing that you get asked in uh, garage band when you have this new project, I'll work through it as an empty project, but the first thing you're asked is the key signature. So uh, looking, looking at the music, I, I have a sort of B-looking symbol on the middle line and uh, to work out what that is I usually go to Google and I do a search along the lines of key signature chart yep. and from that I usually get something that I can look at to work it out yeah this one usually tells me looks like a single B on the middle there is F major so I can go back into GarageBand and I put in my F major thing the time signature is 4-4, four, four, so I'll leave that as it is. So then I go for software instrument, play sounds from your Mac, create. My approach is to press record and then press a single key and then press stop. Now I get rid of the keyboard and I've got my bit of music started which I can make a reasonable length and then I want to view the score. Show editor. Now here I can set this to be in piano roll or score mode. I'll just get rid of this before I forget. Got rid of the note that I put in in the creation, in, yeah, in the starting out. So go to score. I'll see how this works out. Usually it doesn't work out. Now at the yeah. So a problem I have is that I'm at the wrong key symbol. Can I change that? Yes, I can. I'll change it to this key. Okay. Okay, so I've now got the correct key symbol. Okay, now I want to tell it what size notes that I want. So I'm wanting to put in an eighth note. So down for the time quantitize instead of a one sixteenth note, I'll change it to an eighth note. And then I'll uh, I go and I hold down I think the option key. No, let's try the command key. Yep, the command key turns my cursor into a little pencil, and so I can put my first note in the correct position there. Fourth space, third space up. And somehow it got into the wrong place. I'll drag it a bit to the left. It's got a B symbol next to it, which I don't want, so I'll try and bring it down a bit. Yep, so now I've got it looking like it is on the bit of paper. My next note is a quarter note, so I'll change to quarter note. And it's at the same place. So I'll again hold down my command and click in the same place. Again I've got the B symbol, I'll try and drag it down a bit. Okay, so it's there but it's not what I want, it's not a quarter note. It's so I'll, I'll go into piano roll which tends to be easier to work with. I want this one to be twice as long as the second as the first. And 
Okay. And the next one is another eighth note. And it's in the same position as the previous one. So the way I'll do it is I'll hold down the Option key, click on the first one, and drag it to the next position. And my next note is the same length as the second note. Hold down the Option key, drag it across, and it's going to be lower down on the middle which is a B. And then there's a, a break to the end of that. So I'll just drag it out so that it finishes with that eighth bar. And that, that completes the song. I've put in all, all the notes in the song. There are three verses with the same thing. So now to see how that sounds. basically the way I remember the song going. I'll uh, see what the score looks like. Yeah, so uh, yeah, a bit disappointed the way the way it appears.